Hey, what's going on everyone? So quick message to any new subscribers that I have. I just want to say if you happen to be white, you're automatically racist. And if you're black, you are automatically a coon. So on Tuesday night, a 43-year-old black male named Keith Scott was killed by a black officer named Bentley Vinson in a parking lot in Charlotte, North Carolina. Scott's family and other witnesses were just saying that Keith Scott was just reading a book, just waiting to get his daughter from school or something like that. And then the cops, you know, went like, hey, what up? And then they just blasted him. That's basically what they're saying, that he didn't do anything and he's, out, he's also mentally disabled. And uh, that's what they're saying. Now the cops are saying Keith Scott actually had a gun and uh, that he was, wasn't complying with what they were saying. They were telling him to drop the gun. And after that, you know, they opened fire and shot him four times and then he was killed. Now, automatically, I know just having a gun in North Carolina isn't the isn't the, just a complete death sentence because they said it's an open carry state. But the thing is, the cops were saying that he was disobeying orders. They were telling him to drop the gun and then, you know, it led to this situation. And so now we're left with the he said, she said situation where some witnesses are saying that he just had um, a book and no gun. And then, you know, the investigators and the cops saying that he had a gun. So it leaves us with the media jumping the gun, no pun intended, already saying that it's all about he got shot and he just had a book and everything like that. And not not even waiting for any evidence to come out and it's very unfortunate because the mayor even said of, of Charlotte was saying like hey everybody chill the fuck out like let's just wait for the facts to come out you know she's basically talking to the public because she already knows that of, <laughs> of, of just a protest and then you know it, which leads to a riot is gonna ensue and that's exactly what happened so of course people ignore the little facts that are already available like say a black police officer killing another black man because a lot of these rioters and protesters they're not interested in the facts they're just interested in being angry and just fucking shit up and that's exactly what they did it turned into another narrative that just white people are evil and they're the devil like say keith scott's brother was saying some stuff like that oh, guys is there anything we should know no. you just know that all white people are fucking devils and make sure you air that one air, air that, that shit now. don't take that all one white cops are fucking devils and white people his daughter was just talking a whole bunch of shit while doing a facebook live uh video stream or whatever they shot my daddy I'm gonna say this one more motherfucking time. My daddy was over there reading a motherfucking book in a car. My daddy's disabled, he can't do shit. They jump out the car and try to break the motherfucking window. My daddy like, what's going on? He put his hands up. These motherfuckers yell, he got a gun. He got a, what motherfucking gun my daddy got, bitch? I'll show you one. And then you're just left with some textbook rioting, you know, destroying businesses and looting and all this garbage. And you have the mainstream media just telling you that they're just peacefully protesting. And I want to take this opportunity to show you a little clip from uh, Paul Joseph Watson's video because I think it captures what's been happening perfectly. Physically attacking reporters is not a legitimate form of protest. Shooting each other is not a legitimate form of protest. Stealing and looting cash registers from local businesses is not a legitimate form of protest. Trying to set journalists on fire is not a legitimate form of protest. Throwing rocks off bridges at passing vehicles full of families is not a legitimate form of protest. Oh! Beating up innocent people in underground parking lots because they're white is not a legitimate form of protest. Smashing up apartment windows where black people live to protest in favor of Black Lives Matter is not a legitimate form of protest. Smashing up buses that poor black people rely on to get to their jobs is not a legitimate form of protest. Looting the Charlotte Hornets team store so you can steal basketball merchandise is not a legitimate form of protest. Stealing sneakers is not a legitimate form of protest. Attempting to hijack cars and terrify their innocent occupants is not a legitimate form of protest. Now before I say anything else about the riots, I wanna go back and focus on the data and the evidence that's available because I wanna show people what they're rioting about. There's a lot of people that just think they know exactly what's happening, but I already briefly talked about some stuff, but I really wanna just go in detail about this. So witnesses say that they just saw a book and then you know the family members of Keith Scott are saying that he wouldn't hurt a fly and stuff like that and he just had his book as well and he didn't have a gun and everything like that. But it's just, there's evidence that says to the contrary. He doesn't have a gun. He has a TBI. He's not going to do anything to you guys. He just took his medicine. Keith, don't let them break the windows. Come on out the car. Keith, don't do it. Keith, get out the car. Keith, Keith, 
don't you do it. Don't you do it. Key. Key. Yes, we're here, over here at 50, uh, uh, 50, um, 9453 Lexington Court. These are the police officers that shot my husband, and he better live. He better live. Because he didn't do nothing to them. He good. Ain't nobody touch nobody, so they all good. I know he better live. I know he better live. How about that? I'm not coming to you guys, but he better live. He better live. Y'all. But of course, you're having people saying that it was planted, you know, this was planted. Even um, Keith Scott's uh, daughter was saying that, oh, they're going to plant the evidence, you know. But the thing is, you know, we all know that, you know, there's been some dirty cops all throughout history and they've done some really messed up stuff and they planted evidence and stuff like that. But when it comes to a situation like this, like, it just doesn't make any sense to do something like that. I mean, planting evidence or trying to plant a gun, what does that do? That's not even going to remedy the situation whatsoever. I mean, you already had the, viol the violence, the rioting, all this stuff like that. It doesn't do anything. At this point, it doesn't really matter, especially, <laughs> it just doesn't matter. Another thing is that it it's very possible for Keith Scott to have gotten in some type of messed up situation because... He actually has a very lengthy arrest record. All I'm trying to say is that, yeah, it's very possible for him to got in a situation where he got himself killed because, yes, he's he's a felon. He's done a lot of messed up things, so that's just what happens, you know? So with what we know so far, do you people think that these riots are justified in any way, shape, or form? Me, personally, I don't at all. And here's why. Number one, I've never really been a fan of violent protesting. Now, I know a lot of people will point to uh, uh, things back in the day, like say the Founding Fathers or something like that. I even saw something on Facebook that was floating around saying that, oh, it's, it was cool for uh, white people to violently protest back in the day and destroy property and shit, but now it's bad. And I'm like, if you want to talk about something like the Founding Fathers, where say like the picture was talking about the Tea Party, I'm like, that was a focused offense against the government, you know, the British government. The thing is, with these riots and stuff, there, nothing's focused. I mean, I even said that I would at least understand if they try to focus their damage, they try to focus the, the rioting and the destruction on like property that belonged to law enforcement or something like that. I wouldn't condone it, but I would understand. But no, they're just randomly looting stuff and then they're just beating up fucking white people and stuff like that. And the thing is, I'm like, it was another black cop. I'm like, so it's not, they're not doing some type of protest. This is just random acts of violence. Like, you know, protests usually have some type of, some type of agenda. You have some type of purpose, you know, and we can always point to uh, Martin Luther King Jr. And then how he directed his focus and how a lot of people back in the day directed their focus doing sit-ins and stuff like that in places where they, they, there was a purpose behind what they were doing. You're not helping helping whatsoever so i can't call this a protest it's just riding and it's horseshit so me yes i think it's unjustified now i will say i think it sucks that yeah he got killed you know and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna try to downplay that i think there is a problem with police brutality i'm not gonna be the one that's saying that like oh the shootings are 100 justified i'm the one that thinks says that like well, what's wrong with your taser, bro? Like, what's wrong with your fucking taser? Like, I, I think that uh, maybe sometimes there are some officers that jump the gun and automatically shoot the fuck out of somebody. Now, I know it's different when there's uh, when there's guns involved and stuff because what the hell, why would you want to tase somebody that already has a fucking firearm? So, I'm not talking about this in particularly, but I know there's been a lot of cases and I think there is a discussion to be had about police brutality. That I think that there's a lot of police officers that can be trained better, you know, because it doesn't take very long for you to be out in the streets and have a gun and be a police officer. And it's like, dude, you, you have like no experience really. You, you can very easily kill somebody because you don't, you, know, you don't feel like a badass. You don't feel like you're fucking master chief or something like that and you can just whoop everyone's ass. You know, you're kind of like frightened, you know, that somebody could be out there and willing to kill you and then you're just gonna fucking make sure you kill them first. And I'm like, well, you know, that's, that's, a, little, that's a little fucked up. So yeah, we can have that discussion. But like right here, fucking protesting, is fine we all know you can fucking protest and stuff like that if it's peaceful and you want to go and pump your fist in the air say black lives matter or whatever i'm going to disagree with you sure but you have every right to do it but the moment you start fucking destroying people's property start looting stores start beating up random fucking innocent people that's where i have the biggest problem that's what's happening right now and this is the trend that's going on and one thing i want to say that yes i absolutely i absolutely think that black lives matter is connected with this shit because this was not happening consistently before Black Lives Matter was a thing. 
The last thing I want to say is fuck the mainstream media for adding fuel to the fire and everybody just stay safe out there. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I just want to give a big shout out to my patrons, Jeffrey, Troy, Zan, Sebastian, Hannah, Paul, Ian, Jason, Ramon, Peter, Sarah, Mood, Black Hammer 07, Bex, Naja, Robert, Joseph, Jacob, Misty, James, OB, Brandon, Char Saint, Bass Crippled, Arthur, and Brett. Thank you all so much. And if you guys want to be my patron, just check the template or the link in the description. You all have a wonderful day and pop up less. So it looks like we have another case of riders being called pro. Uh.